In the previous lesson, we learned about the half cells of redox reaction, where in the oxidation process, or oxidation half cells, you have an anode electrode that lose electron. And in the process of losing electron, the metals, the solid metals, will become an ions and it become part of the solution. As you can see here, it loses the electron and it is being released from the electrode and become part of the solution. And that electron will travel to the cathode electrode. And in the cathode half cells, we have the positive charge ion, and it gained the electron that's released in the anodes over here. Once it gained the electron, it becomes solidified and becomes a solid, and it is deposited on the cathode. Exam, as you can see in this example, here we have the anode made of zinc. Over time, the zinc are deposited into a solution, it becomes smaller, so the electrode loses its mass. On the contrary, the copper cathodes are being deposited by the metal ions in the solution. As the metal ions gain the electron, it solidifies and it starts to deposit on this electrode, forming a thin layer of coating of that specific metal. So oxidation process produces the metal ions as well as the electron where reduction process gain the electron and solidify the metal ions in the solution. In this lesson, we are talking about the function of the salt bridge and how it is related to the voltage that's being measured in the half cells. So what is a salt bridge? A salt bridge is consists of an ionic compound made of salt. We call it salt bridge. In this case, the salt bridge is made of sodium chloride. So a salt bridge consists of an ionic compound that consists of a positive ions and a negative ions. The function of a salt bridge is to maintain electro neutrality in the cells. So how does that work? First of all, we have the anode half cells and the cathode half cells. On the anode cells, oxidation releases the positive ions, as you can see here, is release the positive ions into the solution. So the solution become more positive or more positive charge to balance out the increasing positive metal ions that are released into the solution. The negative part or the negative ions of the salt bridge will float into the solution. So here we have sodium chloride. The negative part, which is chloride ions, will flow into the solution. So we have a negative and a positive now is being neutralized. So the positive and the negative charge in the solution will cancel each other out. On the other hand, where we have the cathode half cells, reduction occur. In the reduction process, the positive ions in the solution gain the electron and it solidify. But the solution now has lost the positive charge because it has lost the positive ions to the electro. So therefore, the solution become less positive. In order to resupply the positive ions in the solution, the positive ions in the salt bridge will flow into the solution. And therefore, it replenishes or resupplies the positive ions that's lost through the reduction process. As you can see, that is how the salt bridge helped to maintain the half cells to be electrically neutral. And what if we don't have a salt bridge? Without a salt bridge or without a functional salt bridge, the solution of the half cell will become imbalanced. That means the charge will not become balanced in the solution. We either have more positive or more negative. And as a result, the cell voltage or the E cell potentials right here will become zero.